Hello everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to discuss about the working of drawn draft gasifier. First, we will discuss about what is meant by gasifier and then the types of the gasifiers and drawn draft gasifier. If the gasifier is the device in which the solid biomass can be converted into a gaseous fuel through a various thermochemical reactions like drying, pyrolysis, oxidation and reduction. And there are different types of gasifiers are there that is updraft gasifier, downdraft gasifier and crossdraft gasifier, fluidized bed gasifier. Out of that one, in this session I am going to take working of downdraft gasifier. In this one, the biomass as well as the producer gas which will be flowing in the downward direction. Okay, here you can see the photograph of the different type of the downdraft gasifier and the different zones of the downdraft gasifier we can see here drying, pyrolysis, oxidation and reduction. First we will take the gasifier definition. In what is known as the gasifier, a solid fuel is converted by a series of thermochemical processes like drying, pyrolysis, oxidation and reduction to a gaseous fuel called producer gas. If the atmospheric air is normally used as a gasification agent, then the producer gas consists mainly of carbon monoxide, hydrogen and oxygen. A typical composition of a gas obtained from the wood gasification on volumetric basis is as follows. The wood gasification products that is composition of the gas are carbon monoxide 18 to 22 percent, hydrogen 13 to 19 percent, methane 1 to 5 percent, heavier hydrocarbons 0.2 to 4, carbon dioxide 9 to 12 percent, nitrogen 45 to 55 percent, as we are using the atmospheric air which is having the more nitrogen and water vapor 4 percent. Here these three composition of the gases carbon monoxide, hydrogen and methane these can be burnt further to get the heat from it and that's why it is a potential fuel for the further combustion. Then now we will take the downdraft gasifier. In the downdraft gasifier, both biomass fed from the top and the gas producer flows in the downward direction. That's why it's called as a downdraft gasifier. And gas leaves from the bottom. Here, the commonly used sketch of the downdraft gasifier is that from the top, biomass is fed and which is passing through the different zones. There is a drying zone up to having the temperature of 120 degrees Celsius, pyrolysis zone having the temperature range between the 200 to 600 degrees Celsius, oxidation zone having the temperature of 900 to 1200 degrees Celsius and reduction zone having 900 to 600 degrees Celsius. Okay, then ash after the combustion falls through aspect through a grate. In this one the biomass is down, moving in the downward direction in the drying zone the moisture content will be given off. In the pyrolysis zone, volatile matters will be given off. In the oxidation zone, the partial combustion will be taking place. The partial combustion of the biomass will be taking place and later in the reduction zone, the whatever the combustion products are there, those are reduced to convert into a carbon monoxide, and hydrogen and methane. Okay, the complete combustion products as the carbon dioxide and water vapor, those will be reduced to have the carbon monoxide and the hydrogen. And for the combustion, the air enters to the combustion zone through the air tires. And here we can see the how actually the biomass is fed. The biomass in the passes through drying zone, paralysis and combustion taking place and later a reduction will be taking place. From that the syn gas will be produced. Syn gas means it is a synthesis gas which is actually used in the internal combustion engines. Next further the working of this downdraft gasifier if you want to explain that one. In a downdraft gasifier air enters at the combustion zone and the gas producer leaves near the bottom of the gasifier. In this type of the gasifier the volatiles and the tars producer from the descending fixed bed 
how to pass through the reaction zone where mostly they are cracked and calcified. In this calcifier, okay, their volatile matters and the tars are produced during the combustion and that is produced passing through a reaction dose at a, a constriction okay, where the highest temperature is there because of that those will be cracked and gasified to form a gas. Then also a constriction provided in the hearth where the combustion is taking place where the construction is provided that is called as a throat that ensures the gaseous products to pass through a hottest zone. The gas producer contains less of tar and more of ash. The gas is producing that tar whatever is that, that is cracked and due to that one the, some, some will be formed into ash the remaining will be formed into gas that's why it will cause the ash content. The gas, these gasifiers are suitable for fuels like wood and agricultural waste. If you want to use the feedstock as a wood as agriculture waste, then we can use the drum draft gasifier. They are mainly may be used for power generation up to 150 kilowatt and behind that there may be geometrical limitations upon gas quality. Up to 150 kilowatt power production we can use. Behind that there may be limitations of gas quality is there. They are cheap, their value will be less okay, than the cost is less and easy to make. The fabrication will be easy. The gas can be used for power generation of motive power either in dual fuel engines or in diesel engines with some modifications. This can be used in the internal combustion engines. Engines operating on spark ignition system that is petrol engines can be made to run entirely on producer gas. Whereas those using the compression ignition system Example, diesel engines can be made to operate with about the 60 to 80 percent of the oil fuel oil replacement by the gas. 60 to 80 percent, the fuel oil will be replaced uh, by the gas, and remaining that is a 40 to uh, 20 percent. What are there? That can be diesel or a biodiesel. In larger systems, the gas can be burned directly. Example, in industrial oil fire boiler. Uh, this whatever the gas is there it is a potential combustion fuel that's why that can be burned directly to get the heat in some industries in the for the oil fired boilers we can use the gas also for the combustion to get the heat from it and from that the steam can be generated like that the different applications of this downdraft gasifier is having that can be used for producing the power in the form of uh, from the downdraft uh, internal combustion engine or the heat application that you can use. Thanks for watching. If you like, 